Hey guys, Flatbed 101 with Mike here. Um, I get a lot of new drivers that don't know how to slide axles on a 53 foot trailer. Um, I've got a 53 foot drop deck. Um, the drop decks and the flatbeds are a little different. Um, but we're going to go over how to slide the axles on a 53 foot prime drop deck. Uh, it'd be a Rittenauer trailer, probably. I'd have to look. Um, okay, so I'm sitting in the driver's seat right now. I've got the truck running. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have the transmission in neutral, um, and I have my uh, parking brake pulled, and my trailer brakes released, so pushed in. Um, and that's what I want. So now we're gonna go out, <coughs> and um, we're gonna go uh, back here to the back of the trailer, about halfway down underneath gonna see a box like that okay we're gonna open this box and on this brand new trailer this is a 595 this is a 595 series trailer so it's brand new it's a 2019 so usually there's a twisty dial in here a valve well these have plunger valves now if you look we've got directions on which which way is locked and which way is unlocked we want them both unlocked so we're gonna push down on that one and we're gonna push down on that one now what that's gonna do is that's gonna air up the airbags on the trailer, one of them, and the other one's gonna release the pins. Okay, so we're gonna come back here and we're gonna look, there's four pins just like this, and we're gonna make sure they're pulled all the way in. So there's one, there's two, over here to the other side, there's three, and there's four, okay? Now if you watch these airbags, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but they are airing up and they will air up to their full capacity And you can see how high the gap is from the trailer to the tire right now So basically all you got to do is you got to wait a minute and let that get aired up on a 53 uh, Flat it's the same thing except you don't have to air up the airbags. You've only got one valve to unlock the locking pins now That locking pin valve does two things it uh, unlocks the pins but it also locks this back axle. It releases the brakes, or it sets the brakes on it. Um, and that's so that it won't turn so that we can actually slide it back and forth. All right, looks like it's high enough, so we're gonna go give it a shot. And we are closing the axles right now. Um, so we're gonna back up. If uh, we were opening the axles, we would pull forward because we're trying to slide that back axle. Um, so, we, uh, my truck shut off. We are gonna fire the truck up. Um, we are going to push in our uh, tractor brakes and we're gonna put it into reverse, okay? I'm gonna set you on my mount because I do not mess with my phone while I'm driving. Even though I'm just moving a little bit, it's still a distraction. So I'm gonna watch my mirrors, the flashers on so people know what I'm doing or that I'm moving. And I'm just gonna back up. You might even be able to hear the bang. It has a tendency to be a little loud. Oh, that was it. We just hit. That's what we want. We want we want it to hit. We want to close it all the way. Okay. Now what I just did um, was I went back to neutral and I set my tractor brake. Uh, trailer brake is still released. It's still pushed in. <clears throat> so it's honestly just like backing up like you were gonna back up. You just gotta mess with the valves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here and we are going to, well that's interesting. This one works a little different. It picked up the front axle. That's kind of cool. See, this new one worked a little different. It picked up the front axle so it wasn't even on the ground so it didn't drag across the ground. That's actually kind of cool because normally it drags across the ground. Um, we're gonna check our pins. They're lined up good Okay, and so now we're gonna go back to our box right here open it up Pull the plungers up to lock it Make sure we close our box back so we don't get a water in there And you can hear the air leaking out now because everything's dropping back down And we're gonna check our pins. make sure they're out. That one's out That one's out and always check both sides because things can get tweaked. That one's out and that one's out. 
and that's it. If I wanted to open them, I would do the exact same thing, the same exact process. The only difference would be that I would pull forward instead of back up. Um, figured I'd better make a video when I had a trailer that I was closing or open the axles on. Um, yes, I'm empty right now. I just unloaded that load of uh, that caterpillar bucket and the uh, the blade. They're actually over there. Um, but when I'm empty, um, my preference is on a 53 to actually have the axles closed. Um, on the newer trailers, uh, especially the uh, especially the flatbeds, they all have automatic lift axles. And if you're empty, um, it, it'll pull that axle off the ground. And so, that front axle. And so you'll end up basically turning at a 50 foot turning radius because you're only running your back axle. And I don't like doing that if I can help it. So, um, if I'm empty on an automatic lift axle, 53 footer, I will always close my axles when I'm empty just to shorten my turning radius and help prevent me hitting something when I'm making a turn. It's a safety thing. Um, not everybody does it, but if I don't do it, then I got to turn that much wider. Um, <clears throat> so, um, the rules for having them open or closed in Maryland, you have to have them open and it's all, it all has to do with bridge law, which is the distance between the kingpin and the center of the rear axles. Um, so you have to have them closed in, uh, Florida, California, Wisconsin. Um, it's various states in New England, but I just like to say New York state and everything east of that. So like Connecticut, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire. Um, I don't think they're all that way, but I just, if I'm, if I'm going east of New York, I just close them. Um, now there are places where, uh, well, what that does is it changes your weight allowances. When your axles are open and you have the spread axle, you're allowed 12,000 on your steers, 34,000 on your drives, and then 20,000 on each of your trailer axles. So it's 12, 34, 20, 20. Um, and it's important to say it like that and not say 12, 34, 40, because um, you don't, you're not allowed 40 on the back. You're allowed 20 per axle. Um, so if you've, for some strange reason, got 25 and 15, well, you're still illegal. Um, so uh, when you close your axles, well, now you're just running a tandem. And so in most states, on a tandem, it's 12,000 on the steers, 12,000 or 34,000 on the drives, and 34,000 on the tandem axle trailer, on the tandem axle on the trailer. Um, now there are states where that's different. If I pick up slinkies in Connecticut, um, a lot of times I'll be 12, 34, 35, but I'm in Connecticut and I'm going to New York. So I have to have those axles closed. So, um, <clears throat> but the state of Connecticut and the state of New York actually allow you 36,000 as opposed to 34. Um, so what I do in that situation is I run with the 12, 34, 35, and then as soon as I get to the New York state line, leaving New York, um, I stop and I open my axles and then I'm good. I'm good to go because now it's 12, 34, 20, 20, and that 35,000 on the back gets spread between the two axles and I'm good to go. Um, now, where do you find that information? How do you find out what the weight limits are for the state that you're in? Um, well, we go to our Bible for that and mine has disappeared on me apparently i'm sure it's in the back somewhere um but that's your atlas your motor carrier's atlas um make sure it's a motor carrier's atlas you should be you should be updating that thing every two years um <clears throat> excuse me and it in the front of it has a plethora of information it's got weight limits, it's got length limits, it's got restricted roads, it's got way station locations, it's got it's got everything. Um, you should have it, I understand you have your GPS, you should never rely on your GPS. Anyway, you should always know where you're going and that's where your atlas comes in. 
Um, you can't trust Google Maps for routing either because it doesn't know about low bridges and, and restricted roads and things of that nature. That's where your atlas comes in. Well, another thing about your atlas is it'll tell you the, the weight restrictions for each individual state. Now the standard is 1234-34 or 1234-2020, depending on if you have a tandem or a spread, respectively. Um, but like I said, there are states, New York and Connecticut, for example, where the allowance is more. Um, and sometimes that's important because if you end up with a little more, well, what do you do? So, uh, but yeah, that's how you spread the axles and close the axles on a 53 foot step deck. Like I said, the 53 foot flat is the exact same thing. The only difference being there's only one valve, so you don't have to air up the airbags. So that's all I got for now. Any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment, message me, whatever. Um, take it easy, guys. Be safe. Peace.